everyone! So this is going to be my intro to the Finish 5 by Wintertime. But first, here's the probably newest member of our family, Lunar. Um, the kids who found him. If you haven't heard the story, you just need to follow me on Snapchat, that's where it's at. Um, one of my mother's students, yes, found him in the street and brought him to my mom be like, Oh, you like cats, right? Stop. And, um, so I've had him a little over a week now. Let's see if we can do a close-up of his pretty face. Look at his eyes. They're, like, green and blue. He's about five and a half months old. Do you stay? Will you stay nice? My girls don't like him, Ginger and Pepper. And he's all fluffy and long hair. Ow. Um, I don't know. I wish they would like him. If they liked him, I'd be happy more, but it is what it is. Anyway, that's Lunar. I'll let you know if he stays in our family. Anyway, on to the actual products. The first thing I want to finish up in this season, which is kind of a gimme product, is this Tristique highlighting stick I got in an Ipsy bag um, a couple months ago, two months ago maybe. I've been using it pretty much exclusively. We'll see if it'll show. Um, there's only a little bit above the plastic part. Um, that's fully rolled up. And here's the plastic part rolled down. So there's only this much left. But like, I can only use this on my cheeks. I cannot use this um, on my nose or my chin or Cupid's bow or forehead. It does not look good if you have large pores on all my cheekbones. I don't. It just... <coughs> excuse me. It's the only place that it looks fine in and I like the effect that I get I like the shine that I get you can't really tell at the end of the day um but I just really like these cream stick highlighters every one I've gotten I've had the benefit watts up I've had this one I just don't like them so it's not something I really look forward to getting I just don't really enjoy that application process so I want to get this done and when it's gone I'll put something else in the next thing I want to use up is this Milk Makeup um, Cheek and Lip Stick Tint thing in Perk. I'm wearing it today on my cheeks. Um, yeah, actually, I think I got this in my September Birch Box, which hasn't even posted yet, so you haven't even seen it, and I already want to get it out the door. Um, it says it has three grams of product, but... Here's the plastic rolled down. I mean, this isn't a ton. I'm not really going to measure this. I'm just kind of going to eyeball it. Um, this past week, really, um, I've been using it on my cheeks. And I've been putting it on my lips while I do my makeup just to give it, just to give my lips something. I already see a bit of a difference. I just, I just don't like this. I just don't like the scent of it. The color is fine, but I just don't like this. I mean, it's fine enough, but I feel like it's the scent that's really getting it to me. It's just, it's too, it's too cutesy of a scent. It's too teenager, too nagery of a scent. Too teenagery. Too teenagery of a scent, if that makes any sense. I just don't like it. I feel like very Hermione, book one, book two, maybe. Like it's just, it's just a lot of hair today. Just kind of all out, kind of a mess. Anyway. See, it sticks to me. Oh my God, be gone. The next thing I want to finish up, that was two. The next thing I want to finish up is this Yes To Grapefruit Correct and Repair Peel. Um, I'm about halfway done with this. It's not going to show very well. It's kind of, a, it's a very liquidy, but it's just this. Um, you know, it's a peel consistency. It's just a clear gel that you um, use on your face and it stings. I don't really feel it does anything besides sting and kind of hurt a little bit. Um, so I want to use it up. I've got others I like better, which actually they don't make anymore. So now I need to find a new favorite, like pour peel thing. If you have any suggestions for a really good, um, like breaking down of debris in your pores, sort of a mask or peel or gel or something, let me know because I'm on the hunt for something new once this is done because 
you know, this is, I mean, if this works for you, great. It's a good deal. I think it was maybe, maybe 13 bucks at Target for this. Maybe. Might have been $11.99 or something. It was around there. I just don't like it. It's too much. It's too strong and I don't really feel cleansed afterwards. I just feel irritated. Um, the next thing I want to use, well, not use up, um, not even hit pan on. It's my J. Manuel bronzer in foreplay, which is the lightest bronzer that he has. Um, I've had it for about six months. No, I got me. Yeah, maybe about six or six or seven months. I've had this. Maybe, maybe now that it's October, it's coming to the nine month territory. Um, I like this bronzer, but, um, it's just a little too shimmery dark for me. This is the lightest bronzer in his collection. I got it when it first came to HSN. I have his, his foundation as well. And if you watch upcoming Lippy of the Day um, videos, I will have the lipsticks in there as well. A foundation, I'm wearing it today. It's one of my favorites. I love it. This is just too shimmery, I feel. It's just, it's a shimmery bronzer and it's just not something I'm really into. It's too much for me. It's great. Maybe like a light dusting is kind of nice, but it's hard to get that because a lot of product comes up and it, um, cat's jumping. A lot of product comes up and it's very powdery as you can, I'll show you the mirror a bit. This will be shiny. But if you can see, there's like a lot of powder all over the mirror as well. It's a very powdery product. Um, it's definitely not my favorite bronzer, which is something else. Um, it's the, the Balm, Balm Desert, that one. That one's my favorite bronzer. That's what I'm wearing today. But I would like to, I'd like to at the very least wear away the, um, the embossing on top, if not actually hit pan. I want to try to make myself use this like nearly every single day and hit pan because there is 13.49 grams of bronzer in here. So this is probably like a really deep pan. It probably goes like all the way down to the bottom or something and it's pretty wide. It is, there's a lot of product in here. Most bronzers, like the Hula bronzer, I think, like, I think the old version was 11 grams and now it's like nine grams for like 30 whatever dollars. This was 35, 36, I want to say. Should, probably shouldn't have bought something that expensive. Anyway, it was, I mean, it's relative, it's, it's an expensive bronzer, but it is 13.49 grams of product. So it's gonna last forever, which is good in a way. If it were my favorite, that would be better, but it's not my favorite, so it's gonna be okay. Um, I wanna, I wanna try to hit pan. Let's see if I can hit pan this month. Uh, not this month, this um, season by winter, and then I can put it aside until maybe next summer when it's more appropriate. Um, I just, it's, it's just not my favorite bronzer, and that's fine. And the last thing I want to try to actually use up is this e.l.f. Lip Balm SPF Sunscreen. I think the color is just nude. Yeah, it's nude. Um, I have most of it. This is it all rolled all the way up. I have it marked down on a sheet, but it's marked down with a few other lipsticks that I'm working on, but not until I finish the lippy of the day. Since this is basically like no color pigment, if you saw my e.l.f. haul, you will have seen this. Um, why did I take the bookmark out of here? I don't know. I have it in here, and I wrote intro. I just kind of wrote intro for all of these, but that line is where I started. This one right here is where I started um, earlier this week. And I've already made, here, let me see, you, yeah, I can kind of see it. I've already made the teensiest bit of progress and it's only been a few days. So if I just keep this in my bag and use it like in between lipstick applications or something, I think it'll be fine. I, um, I don't like it layered over itself. I did that on Wednesday or whatever. I like wore it and just like kept applying it whenever I needed it. And then I looked in the mirror later. It, it was it was not pretty lips time not pretty lips time anyway this tingles when you put it on it's kind of cooling I don't know if it's really supposed to be plumping but it's kind of cooling and um 
It does have SPF, which is always good to have SPF in your lip products because they do get burned. Um, but this is just something that I would like to use up in this season and have out because you can't even buy this anymore. They sent me a discontinued product. It was, an, um, it was part of like a freebie that I got when I ordered so much. They sent you a package worth so much and this was in there and like you can't even buy it because I'm like, I would buy this if we were in colors that looked better on me. But I can't even buy this anymore. So I just kind of want to use it up, get it out. I know it's one of the newest lip products I have in my collection, but let's get her out of here. So to recap, the things I want to use up first are this highlighter, this lip and cheek duo, this lip balm, which I threw on the floor, and this face mask. As I finish things up, I will put new things in because I kind of like that idea. I've seen a lot of people doing rolling pans and I think that'll be fun. And then on this bronzer, I would just like to hit pan and see if that's a possibility. I have no idea. Maybe I should aim for a dip because there's like 13 and a half grams of product. So we'll aim for pan. We'll see what happens. And yeah, that's my finish five by winter time intro. And I will let you guys know what's up and I will see you all again later. Bye.